wait for um, Sumtochi. We have uh, a guest speaker, Sayam Patak. He's, uh, he'll be talking to us about GitOps using Argo CD. Uh, minutes. Um, we have... Yeah, he'll be talking to us about uh, Argo CD, GitOps using Argo CD. He's the director of technical evangelism at Civo. Sayam, can you hear me? Welcome. Uh, yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me well? Yes, and thank you very much for awesome. Time. Yeah, glad to be here on KCD Africa. Um, it, it's uh, it's a fantastic, fantastic event that you people are doing. Um, happy to be part of it. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Cool. I'll present my screen. I hope you are able to see my screen. Yes, I can see it. Awesome. Cool. So uh, thank you for the introduction. My name is Sayam Patak and I am the Director of Technical Evangelism at Sivo, uh, which is a next gen cloud platform uh, providing Kubernetes service. And in this session, I would like to tell you more about the Argo project, the GitOps principles, how we can use Argo CD. Uh, we'll try to use the maximum uh, benefit of this time to show you a hands-on demo as well so that you get uh, the max out of this. Uh, so starting off with uh, the Argo project itself. So Argo is a CNCF incubating project and Argo um, is able to do a lot of things. So people usually uh, get confused in only the CD part. So Argo do not have only the CD part. It has uh, many more things uh, that are, you know, um, that are there. So like you have the CD, obviously, which we'll be talking about for the GitOps uh, rollouts, which combines with the CD and gives you the complete workflow. Then you have specific workflow for running the machine learning pipelines where you can create the workflows and the events that trigger uh, on certain actions. So workflows will orchestrate uh, jobs on Kubernetes, create and run workflows on K8. So you can you'll be able to create and run your workflows, machine learning workflows on, and run them on Kubernetes. Uh, again, the use cases mainly involve around the machine learning, uh, batch processing, CI pipelines, and uh, each step, obviously each step in the workflow. So workflow, you can say as a pipeline is there, there are multiple steps. Each step will be running as a container. Um, Argo events. Argo events are like, uh, event-based dependency manager for Kubernetes. Variety of event sources can be there like webhook, S3, um, you have a PubSub, Slack. So all these are there, which can trigger the Kates objects. And uh, it is cloud events compliant, another CNC project. Rollouts, it's advanced capabilities. So when, when you are talking about Argo CD and you combine the rollouts with it, it provides you with advanced capabilities uh, like blue, green, canary, uh, let's say you want a different version of your applications for your customer, but only weighted traffic, like only 30% of your, uh, of your, you know, customers of your uh, people who are using a website should be able to see the new version. You can do the weighted traffic, traffic splitting, can be deployments, um, automated rollback, custom metric queries, all those stuff can be uh, done using the rollouts. Um, so let's move on to the Argo CD. Before Argo CD, I would like to tell you about the GitOps stuff, which is there. So GitOps is basically these are the principles that lets you have everything defined in your Git repository. Uh, so you have the true GitOps, I'll tell you, like um, I recently created a video on my YouTube channel about the true GitOps way uh, and how I call it and how I define true GitOps is where I am able to define my infrastructure as well in Git. So we are moving towards the era where people are managing their infrastructure and application using Git itself. We can do that and we can do that using Argo CD itself. So uh, you have your, um, you know, um, the Kubernetes nodes, which are there, and this is GitHub repositories. So you can have Git repository and you can have infrastructure repository or a folder in that, and you can have your app folder in that. Your infrastructure folder will be having your infrastructure templates. And the best way that I feel uh, we, we, you know, uh, that is it's done is we use something which is called cross plane. So cross plane is infrastructure as a code stuff that 
can be used that can be installed on the main cluster so how you will be achieving the true gitops way let me just show you once so you have your git repositories and this is your k uh, k8s cluster your kubernetes cluster in your kubernetes cluster you will be installing argo cd and you will be installing crossplane so uh, argo cd and crossplane are over here now uh, in crossplane obviously you will be having some providers that you have installed uh, that will be provisioning your kubernetes cluster or your resources on that particular cloud vendor each cloud vendor have their own crossplane provider so you have installed a crossplane crossplane provider you have installed argo cd argo cd is monitoring your git repository so this is your git and it is monitoring your infra folder and your app folder so as soon as you deploy a file which crossplane understands it will deploy and crossplane controller will take that changes and will actually spin up your infrastructure and you can use something called application set which is another cool CRD uh, custom resource from Argo CD. And you can create application set. You can connect this cluster to Argo server. And as soon as this is connected, your application will be deployed. I know it sounds complex and we haven't yet understood the uh, Argo CD, but I just wanted to tell you that you can have your infra, um, you can have your infra and your applications in GitHub repositories, and you can achieve the true GitOps way from um, Argo CD from tools like Argo CD uh, that helps you do that monitoring the repository uh, lives within, within Kubernetes cluster. So let's uh, continue our journey with Argo CD. So where we were. Yeah, so the problem it solves is very clear. I told you, um, you can you have Git, you can build, you can push. Now this comes under the CI pipeline. This this is there. But what about the deployment? You cannot use the same CI pipelines to deploy to Kubernetes. If you deploy to Kubernetes, how will you get the status of that? Whether that application is deployed, how do you deploy the revisions for that applications? How do you manage those applications when something goes wrong? Does it notify you? So all those things are not part of the CI stuff, which is there. So for deployment, it is GitOps is needed and GitOps is needed. Uh, you cannot do with regular pipelines with kubectl apply. You will, you need custom scripts, which you need hates access, cube config files. Uh, and also what about the monitoring? You have to write another custom script for that. So we cannot do all these for sure. That's why there are solutions. And one of the solutions, one of the most popular solutions out there is Argo CD. Now Argo CD is built for Kubernetes and GitOps approach. Uh, so the, the very, uh, you know, famous pipeline example that I always give, I personally use it is I have CI, I have GitHub Actions already there. So if any changes to my Git repository, my GitHub Actions will be building the code, pushing it to uh, the repository and changing my deployment file image in the repository itself. And then it will be, uh, then Argo CD will be deployed onto a Kubernetes cluster that will be monitoring the changes. So Argo CD is there on the cluster and it will be deploying those, uh, taking all the changes and then it will be able to deploy your application onto a particular node which is there so i think um, all the benefits are very very clear like you you have the true gitops approach you have uh, easy trackable easy rollbacks uh, you can have your tr setups you can actually have your complete infra and apps as part of a git repository something goes wrong you exactly can create a replica of your cluster in uh, in your new environment that's the power of argo cd uh, you have single uh, SSO multi cluster. Uh, you that's that's where I was telling you about. Sorry, that's where I was telling you about the application set. So you can use the application set for multi cluster deployments. Uh, all the clusters that are connected to Argo CD, if you have an application set application, that particular application will be deployed across the cluster. Various use cases for that. You can uh, you know let's say you have hundred you know, many developers that join your organization and you want to spin up a uh, cluster on a daily basis with some set of um, deployments, hardened policies and all that stuff. So you can have a GitHub repository. You can have application set created to, for that. You can connect your new clusters to Argo CD and automatically your cluster will be ready with the applications that you need for your new developers and they can access it. They can, you know, uh, do that stuff. Same approach can be used for DR, same approach can be used for deploying one fixed application to all the clusters. 
so many use cases over there it has a very fancy web ui so basically uh, it is ui is enough to do everything uh, with respect to you know uh, management of um, your git repository seeing the status seeing the health of your deployments which are there and cli is also there so argo argo cd cli will be there argo cli that you can use to uh, you know create and manage all your um, apps and you get the prometheus metrics out of the box uh, so argo <clears throat> argo setup is uh, regular ha or core argo so you have your argo setup which is you can have it as a regular setup or a highly available setup or a core argo core argo was fairly new not super new but it is fairly new which gives you only the apt amount of argo installation working is pretty simple uh, so you have your uh, controllers uh, you have repo server you have git and um, you have the api server which it is connected to the controller sync between the repo server and api server repo server is basically the cache which is getting maintained so you can see repo server maintains the internal cache uh, of the repo um, in the ha mode uh, the authentication is via dex and notification controller is now part of argo cd and it started at argo labs yeah now part of argo cd and triggers uh, and templates you have the server which is this one that has exposed a consumed by the web ui so web ui and argo cd use this uh, to connect to this and it does all the magic for you you have application controller uh, that obviously uses the cd repo server to get the manifest and talks to the api server and puts both of them in sync so that your applications are actually in sync uh, then you have argo core so th this, this is what i was telling you the new kind of project which is there and um, getting started with argo no multi tenancy uh, if uh, kubernetes are back only managing via uh, cli easy transition from core to full argo that also is supported yeah, with Argo 2.3, I think there were many improvements, including the ARM images, which is good. And um, uh, application set uh, notifications were part of Argo CD, which is, again, uh, superb. Uh, many improvements, bug fixes were always there. Sync and different uh, sync and diff strategies are also there. So I think those were some of the cool features uh, for, for, you know, uh, Argo CD. Um, how much time do I have? I can do a demo. I cannot hear you. Yeah, I think you still have like 15 minutes. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So let's move to the actual action, which is there. Let me see if you are seeing the right screen. Yeah. So this is actually the SIBO, um, you know, the dashboard, which is there from where I'll be provisioning a Kubernetes cluster um, right in front of you. Everything is there. So let's create a live cluster demo. Okay, KCD, I forgot. And leave everything as it is, except that from CICD, we'll be installing Argo CD. So let's create this particular cluster. Oh, I haven't chosen the size yet. Nothing fancy that I have done. Till the time it is getting created, let me show you the GitHub repository that I'll be using to deploy the application. I hope I have some application. Uh, maybe I can use this and I can use the deploy folder for that. Yep. This can be done. Cool. So I'll watch the deploy folder of this repository. So this repository is nothing. Uh, there's a deploy folder in this. There is a hello.yaml file. Uh, that is just deploying a particular uh, YAML file. Actually, if you want to see the source code also, it's pretty simple. It's a Flask uh, application. Uh, so a Flask application that is listening on port 8080. And it um, as soon as anything is deployed, so that was the actual flow that I was talking about, GitHub Actions will run. So this will be you know uh, checking out Docker push, uh, building the image, pushing it to my repository, and changing the deploy hello.yaml file with the image tag. So every time any change is there, it will change this particular tag, which is over here. So it will add that SHA uh, to the image tag and all the changes. So that completes my cycle. Any change I make in the um, in the templates or in the code, um, like in the HTML, any chain change I make, it will directly be visible with the new 
uh, deployment because Argo will be watching this folder and CI will be adding, uh, building this and adding the new image to hello.yaml file. So that is uh, very, on a very high level that that particular stuff is. So yeah, we already have the nodes up and running uh, and we'll be soon having the kubeconfig file that I'll be using. And let me just fix my terminal as well so that you don't see anything fancy running over there. In the meanwhile, then I have to share my complete screen. Export. Let's run. Demo. Oh. I can, yeah. So kubeconfig is there. I'll download the kubeconfig file and save it. And now I need to reshare my screen because I have to show you the terminal window. I hope you are able to see the terminal window now. Yep. Uh, okay. So now we export the cube config. Cube CDL get nodes. Oops. Cool. Um, so KCDF Rika cluster is up and running in front of you. Uh, that's nice. Uh, kubectl get pods hyphen A. Let me see if Argo CD is getting installed on that. Yep, Argo CD, you can see uh, notification decks, um, repo server, application controller server. Uh, they are, you know, getting installed slowly, slowly. And what we are going to do is we need a service. So kubectl get SVC, Argo CD. I think there will be a service, Argo CD server. Let me just change that to a load balancer. CDL edit SVC. Argo CD. And make it load balancer. I can definitely create the ingress. Just being lazy over here. Cube CDL get pause hyphen A. Let me check again if stuff has been running. Um, yep, most of the stuff is running. Some are still, uh, you know, getting ready. And Cube CDL get SVC. Let's try it out. Still getting ready. Argo CD. Yeah, so all the pods are running, and you can see uh, what all, all the pods are. So you have repo server, and we saw that in the diagram the application controller, um, the Argo CD server itself, the core one, the DEX for authentication. You have the application controller, notification controller. So all the components are over here. I'm just trying to connect to the particular server. Once it's done, I'll definitely share the other window. And in the meanwhile, I'll also try to get the secret. So this is the initial secret for the Argo CD UI. Cool. Uh, my Argo CD is up and running. I can switch the screens now. You have to see my face again. Uh, let me share the window again. Yeah. So this is the screen. I proceed. That's the same load balancer. You can see that. Our CD is up and running. We'll copy our password that I showed you how to get it. And I think admin is the username. Yep. This is your fancy Argo CD. Uh, UI, which is there. 
So this is how it looks like. You can actually add a new app from here, a, a demo app, and give you know a sync policy, automatic. Uh, you can prune the resources on deletion. You can self heal. Um, you can also have uh, auto create namespace. Um, all these you can do from here. We'll give the URL. Let's go here. Let's give the URL. And I think the branch is main. So we'll give, yeah, we, main branch is fine. And path is deploy. So deploy. Destination is this cluster. Namespace we can leave as it is. And let's try to create it. So you can see uh, this is how it starts the the project and uh, it starts to sync the project the github project within within that with that kubernetes cluster and try to see if that this path is there it can it deploy so you can see this is getting deployed demo and the namespace is missing let me create the namespace i actually did do the auto creation of the namespace let me just let me just see what is happening in the so I do see that the app is not here. Okay, let's try it. Invalid spec. Namespace is missing. I do have a namespace, I believe so. Interesting. Let's delete and give a namespace. And I'll create a live app. Deploy. This one is showing green. Good signal. Cool. Yep, everything is deployed. And cube CTL get pods. Let me check in my terminal as well. Yes, I can show you that. It is running. Yep, it is. We can actually see everything is everything is running. So we'll do a kubectl get svc so that we can go to that particular uh, IP. So this is the node port. The service is node port. This is the cluster IP, and we can. Pod is running. And the cluster IP is correct. Three, one, six, and two. Yep. So I think we should be able to see the application soon. So it, you can see what all stuff it created. It created a service. It created a deployment. And we can even go to that deployment. We can see it is synced. We can see what all stuff got deployed over here, which application got deployed. So this was the image that is deployed and this is the service node port service type node port which is 31692 and the endpoint yep everything looks fine
let me just see oops it is somehow waiting i hope i am in the right cluster yes i am oh yeah just a second because i didn't firewalls let me just for now but don't do this i'm adding allowing everything yep so yeah this is kcd chennai but we can definitely <laughs> change this to kcd africa so if, if like i can show you the true github stuff which is there so this is kcd welcome to kcd africa and kcd africa and let's commit this so as soon as i commit the changes what it will do is it will trigger um, a pipeline over here and we can see this is the github actions i just hope my credentials are working fine in this particular repository because i keep on changing them so if it's not then we will skip the credentials part and uploading it the only part which will be deploy the docker image so if it can deploy the docker image uh, and push to my repository then we can see the change else uh, it won't work as it is it says that the login is succeeded so we might be able to see the stuff which is there and as soon as what what will happen now is it will it is checking deploy folder so very soon our git will be able to commit the deploy folder over here let's see the details till which step it is there it is push and deploy to the local repo yeah now it now the push is happening to the local repo and it is completed perfect so this is completed uh, our deploy folder got changed now let's go back here uh, let's see when it will get synced i think 30 seconds is the sync let's refresh yep something is getting changed so you can see it is getting changed I can check in the terminal myself. You won't be able to see in the terminal, but yes, there is a new container which is getting created in the terminal. You have to believe me. <laughs> yep, it's running and yay, we are welcome to KCD Africa. And I hope you enjoyed the GitOps uh, knowledge about Argo CD, how to connect a live demo, KCD Africa. And uh, uh, one last thing that I would like to just add that I also have a community called Cube Simplify. That's the kind of community that I, you know, simplifying cloud native for everyone. And recently I started a new initiative called Workshops, which are free of cost. Uh, so two workshops are up, uh, which will be live on 11th and 18th of July, please feel free to register for them. Uh, CubeSimplify.com slash workshops is the link. And I really hope you enjoyed this particular demo on Argo CD. So if you have any queries regarding Argo CD, regarding uh, uh, any of the stuff that um, you know I'm doing with respect to Cube Simplify, my YouTube, my Twitter, you can contact me anywhere and uh, make sure to kind of follow me on, on the social media as well. Uh, one question I just saw that uh, just to confirm, did you tag your image with latest? No. Uh, so it's not the latest. It's actually with the git commit. So it if you just see in my GitHub actions, in the workflows, I'm actually using the commit SHA to tag the image with. I think somewhere, somewhere here, where it is. Yeah, this one. So I'm getting this particular uh, SHA shot and it will tag the image with that cool uh, yeah I, i'm also there on the kcd uh, africa slack uh, so 
make sure you join that if you have any questions uh you feel free to let me know and i would be happy to answer all your queries as well um thank you so much for having me it was so uh, i hope you enjoyed the session awesome thank you very much uh and thank you very much for hopping in last minute and uh Saving the day. <laughs> I think we have one more question. How did you update the image tag in your manifest file by John yeah. Paul? Can you, can you bring back my uh, uh, my term in, uh, my uh, screen okay, share? Sure, sure. Yeah, so uh, how it is happening is as soon as I commit, I have a GitHub Actions, which is written. So GitHub Actions will run uh, this file and it will create, it will build the code. So Docker file is there in the code. It will build the code. And I'm using a Jinja template. So you can see this generate deploy manifest from the Jinja template. I'm using the Jinja template and the output file will be deploy hello.yaml. So deploy hello.yaml git. My git itself is committing to that. Uh, just variable will be this image deploy tag. So you can see in the in the repository, the tmpl hello.j2. This is the deploy tag. So that will be changed with the git commit. And this will be then pushed to deploy hello. Dot. And that's how my image gets changed with the latest commit. And Argo CD is watching this particular file uh, deployment, deploy hello.yaml. It will automatically get deployed onto your Kubernetes cluster with the latest revision that is there. So that's the magic and the power of uh, GitOps Argo CD using it the right way. So I've shown you actually the complete CI CD process till the deployment from the code. Cool. Glad you understood. Uh, I'm not able to hear you. <laughs> Sorry, I, <laughs> I muted myself. Uh, once again, thank you very much. And uh, we look forward to more collaborations with you. For sure, for sure. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Awesome.